The chief executives of the largest U.S. airlines pushing back against the federal aviation mask mandate. This week, the airline CEOs asked the White House to drop the requirement on planes and in airports. In an open letter addressed to the president, they wrote in part, it makes no sense that people are still required to wear masks on planes, yet are allowed to congregate in crowded restaurants, schools, and at sporting events without masks, despite none of those venues having the protective air filtration system that aircraft do. Major U.S. airlines began requiring masks on planes in the spring of 2020. President Biden then signed an order mandating masks on public transportation shortly after he took office. That was set to expire last week, but the TSA extended the policy for another month. CNBC's Phil LeBeau spoke to the head of the FAA earlier today. Phil, given every state has dropped mask mandates, does he think it's time to do the same on planes? Well, Kelly, he won't say. Steve Dixon, for most of his tenure running the FAA, has had to deal with these mask mandates. And his position all along has been that is an issue that is decided by the CDC, the TSA, working in conjunction with the White House. The FAA's position, they simply enforce the rules. So Steve Dixon, who will be stepping down as head of the FAA next week, is basically saying it's not for me to decide whether to decide whether or not masks should come off. I simply enforce the rules. Well, the mandate definitely seemed to fuel a rise in unruly passenger incidents. Should we expect that to go away when it's dropped? No, the zero policy, uh, zero tolerance policy is going to stay for a while. The number of incidents of unruly passengers is coming down, but it's nowhere close to where it was pre-pandemic when occasionally you heard about these types of incidents. I asked Steve Dixon this morning, I said, look, do you think that we should have a policy that is extended where people are banned on all airlines. Here's what he had to say about current behavior on airplanes. We have seen uh, over the last year a significant decline in these incidents, uh, but they continue to occur at too high of a rate. So we will be keeping the zero tolerance policy in place. So even after the masks do come off, if they come off on April 18th, the zero tolerance policy that the FAA has had, that will remain in place, Kelly. Okay, so Phil, while we have you, what about the crash of the Boeing jet in China? Does Dixon think we'll find out what caused the crash to happen? He does. He thinks eventually we will find out. And look, there's been some chatter online that China may not release all the results. They may keep some of it uh, from being seen by the public. The fact of the matter is, around the world, while there may be differences politically between countries, when it comes to aviation safety, investigations like this, ultimately all of the details are revealed. And Steve Dixon says eventually we will find out the cause of this crash. All right. Phil LeBeau, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.